my gosh. This looks better than Cinnabon. I mean, boom. Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Bev. Today I am feeling grateful and reflective. It's September 11th and Andre and I are gonna surprise our local firehouse with gooey, gooey cinnamon rolls. The ingredients are one package of cinnamon rolls, non-stick cooking spray, a half a cup of heavy cream, one fourth cup of butter, you want it melted, a half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one package of cream cheese frosting. Alrighty, so first we started off by preheating our oven to 400 degrees. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan. And you wanna make sure to get it pretty, you know, sprayed up all over because you don't want anything to stick. So once you're finished spraying, you're just gonna line up the cinnamon rolls. Try not to let them unravel. All right guys, got the cinnamon rolls all arranged as you can see. Yeah, yeah. Um, it comes with its own icing. Uh, I've set this aside for later, but I like to hook it up even later with our cream cheese frosting. We'll get to that in a bit. But next, we're gonna kind of just push this aside and we're gonna work on the filling to make it extra yummy, cinnabunny, all that yumminess. And of course, you start by pouring in some melted butter because butter always makes everything better. Um, next, we're gonna do our brown sugar. Just dump that in. Our cinnamon, because it's cinnamon rolls, and the heavy cream, because you know, the heavy cream. <laughs> Give that a little whisk, and then we'll get ready to move on to our next step. All right, we got this all whisked up, and next we're gonna do the easy job of just pouring it on our cinnamon rolls. Get it all good. You wanna make sure you pour it over top of them and around them, the in-between. Yum, yum, yum. I mean, this really just packs in the cinnamony, delicious flavor. It literally makes the cinnamon rolls taste like the middle bite of a Cinnabon. You know, the best bite. So just kind of mush it around. Yes, it's another Beverly word, mush. You got that, Andre? Mush it, yeah, mush. So we're gonna mush it all around. You see how it's all covered there? And we're gonna pop it in the oven. Follow as directed, um, mine says about 13 to 17 minutes. So I'm gonna pop it in for 13 minutes and I'm gonna check it and we'll see where we're at. All right guys, it's been 13 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check on our cinnamon rolls. Woo These look perfect. Woo wee. The smell is incredible. So guys, got these out of the oven. It's been 13 minutes, they look incredible. I just love how the icing comes in these little containers where you can like, you know, pour your icing in there and share with your family. Andre and I are always fighting over it. But anyway, take your frosting that they included, mine's oozing everywhere because I already cut it, and just go ahead and drizzle that all over. Okay, so I used all the icing that came with the cinnamon rolls, but I like frosting, so. I got another little container from Duncan Hines and it's already whipped. So it's supposed to be nice and easy, like spreadable, really simple. I got the cream cheese flavor. So easy, this looks like cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun, this looks like cinnamon. But I hope you try this recipe. Let me know if you have any variations in the comments and enjoy. All right, I just love, I don't love that bit of a, uh, a bigger, what's the word, honey? Pan? A bigger pan. <laughs> Sorry, I got cinnamon on my mind. <laughs> I just love how the, um, where did I? <laughs> Even at Cinnabon, when they give you like, you know, more than enough frosting on the actual Cinnabon, I'm like, I need more frosting. I am one of those people who buy the extra little tin. You know, I'm a glutton, you know. Me and Andre fight over it, don't mm -hmm. we? Well, I usually win. Oh, so he thinks.